Ojiko was born on November 4, 1933, in Zungeru in present-day Niger State. He started his secondary school education at CMS Grammar School, Lagos, at the age of 10 in 1943. He later attended King's College, Lagos, in 1944. At 13, his father sent him overseas to study in the United Kingdom, first at Epsom College and Lincoln College and later Oxford University, where he earned a master's degree in history. Ojuku later returned to Colonia, Nigeria in 1956. He joined the military against his father's wishes. His background and education guaranteed his promotion to higher ranks. In 1964, Ojuku was promoted to Lieutenant Colonel and he was posted to Kano where he was in charge of the 5th Battalion of the Nigerian Army. He was in Kano when the January 15, 1966 coup was executed. The coup led by Chukuma Kaduna Nzegu on 15 January 1966 executed a bloody military coup in Kaduna. Major Nzegu gained control of Kaduna, but the coup failed in other parts of the country. Aguriye Rossi took over the leadership of the country, thus becoming the first military head of state. On Monday, 17 January 1966, Lieutenant Colonel Odumegu Juku was appointed military governor of Eastern Region. By 29 May 1966, anti Igbo violent riots started and Ojuku did everything in his power to prevent repressor attacks on Higbos and he even encouraged people to return as assurance of safety had been given by his supposed colleagues up north and in the west. In July 29, 1966, a group of officers including Major Mutala Mohamed, Theophilus Danjuma and Martin Adamu led the majority of northern soldiers in a mutiny that later developed into counter coup which failed in the southeast. The head of state, General Agoyi Erosi, and his host, Colonel Foji, were killed in the battle. After the coup, Ojuku insisted that the military hierarchy be preserved. The most senior army officer after Erosi was Brigadier Babafemi Ogundikwe. However, the leader of the counter coup insisted that Lieutenant Colonel Jakubu Guwan be made head of state. This is one of the sequence of events that resulted in the Nigerian Civil War. In January 1967, the Nigerian military leadership went to Aburi, Ghana for a peace conference hosted by General Joseph Ankara. Also, there was a Niamey peace conference under President Amani Dihari of Niger, and also OAU sponsored a Addis Ababa conference under the chairmanship of ASLC. This was the final effort by General Juku and Gowan to settle conflict via diplomacy. The Aburi Accord fell apart, and on 30 May 1967, Colonel Odumegu Ojuku declared Eastern Nigeria as a sovereign state to be known as Bihafra. On 6 July 1967, Gowan declared war and attacked Biafra. After three years of non-stop fighting and starvation, it became obvious all was lost. Ojuku was convinced to leave the country to avoid assassination. After 13 years in exile, the federal government under Sheo Shagari granted him official pardon in 1982. Emika Ojuku could speak Igbo, Aousa, Yoruba, English, French, and Latin fluently. On November 26, 2011, Ikemba Chuku Emika Udomegu Ojuku died in the UK after a brief illness. He was 78.